welcome back. Uh, we're back at the beach and uh, Storm Kieran, if I zoom in, is just showing its back end to us. It's on its way out, but unfortunately so is most of the sand. The, uh, the beach has been ripped and half the sand's gone. Anyway, not to worry, we've got a sluice set up which is pretty painfully slow I must say but it is working it is working the stuff spinning around as you can see that's just the first scoop gone in we've got a little stream coming out of these rocks and up right up the top of the beach we've got these black streaks so you can see it's nicely stratified there from uh, previous tides. So we've scooped some of that up. We'll take it down and pop some more in this sluice and see how we get on. I can see that this sluice is going to have to be shifted a few times in the morning because um, as you can see the sand's moving a lot and it's making new channels like that. So I can see me having to move the sluice on occasion. Anyway, I'll report back. Well, just while that sluice is clearing, let's have a look at the, the top of the beach. There's a big lump of glacial till, slowly being eroded by the sea. But that's not where I'm finding the black sands. There isn't much in the way of black sands on this bit of beach. But further along, the big lump disappears. But there is black sand. So... I looked on the LiDAR maps yesterday. If you don't know what the LiDAR maps are, it's like a radar. But um, they're available on the internet for England and Wales. Scotland's a bit harder. But LiDAR maps are like a, a very detailed radar map of the surface of the Earth. And if you look at this bit on the LiDAR maps, you can see that there's, well, there's a stream on the other side of the till there but I reckon that the stream used to come here on this side of the big lump and it's washed it all the way and I reckon the black sands are what is left of that glacial till on this side where the actual lump has disappeared just a theory might be wrong but you know within a few yards we're walking on black sand so that's my theory anyway we'll see how we get on Well, it seems to be working okay. Um, I'll shovel through a few pans worth of black sand and then have a, a clean up in about half an hour, I think. And we'll see how we get on. See you in a bit. Right, well, that's had about six or seven pans of black sand chucked through it. I'm going to let that clean through now. The water system seems to be working okay. I've even got a bit of a sort of a V going on when the the landing plate clears. Um, I'm going to change tack now and instead of skimming sand off the top I thought I'd have a bit of a dig and you'll see you can actually dig down and get to some pretty rich material so I think I'm going to give some of that a go but I'll, first I'm going to clean out the pan and see what the first sort of top layer panning has done or solution has done and then we'll have a session digging a bit deeper to these darker layers 
and see what they produce. I'll report back. Okay, I've panned off the, uh, the white sand and most of the black sand. And if I can show you there, there are a few dots of gold. They're, not, they're so small though. Um, there's a bit of colour in them when it's out of focus. As soon as it goes in focus, they just seem to disappear. But um, I think deep down is where I need to go. I need to get to a deeper black sands. So I'll report back. So we've dug a bit deeper, only six inches, but this is a big boulder. I've just scraped a load of black sand off there. So I'm going to keep digging around on the top of that boulder to the side and taking more black sand because uh, I reckon that's a big enough boulder to have stayed where it is for quite some time so that's prospective I guess well never mind the gold I've just found a beautiful beautiful piece of agate agate how you pronounce it love that stuff so pretty so I'll, I'll take that home I'll try and get some more gold. I've got the sluice running. This is all the darker material from underneath the, um, well, deeper down the sand on top of that submerged boulder. So we'll keep running this. It's probably at about four pans up to now. So I'll, I'll do a couple more pans and then we'll uh, clean that out and see if the deeper black sand has anything to offer. Report back. Okay I've dug a fair bit out of that hole now. Um, that's the rock there. Uh, I've dug around the sides of it. There's our little stream coming out of the sand. Very useful. Cleaned up the dream mat. And we have got some. Yeah they're there. They're not very uh, easy to to get a picture of these. There is gold in there anyway, believe me. But it's not much. So, given the amount of black sands that we've got here, I'm left scratching my head as to why there's loads of black sand and only a tiny amount of gold. Um, I wonder if it's underneath all them rocks and maybe it's a case of well you don't want to lift all them rocks up would you uh, partly because it's protecting the dunes but also bloody hard work um, so I'm going to go away and scratch my head and think about this uh, because even if you did significant volumes um, with a gang of you I, I think you'd still only get a little bit um, I wonder what the solution is, I don't know. Bond to ponder. Anyway, I'll clean it up at home and give you a, a final shot if we can get it to focus. See you again.